Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our English campaign in Europa Universalis 4 Common Sense. So we're just waiting for Scotland here to decide that, yeah, you know, waiting on this island forever is a bad idea. Also, the advantage to not killing their army is that we're, we're going to vassalize them, so that will become our army eff effectively, either eventually because we integrate them or just in the next war. Like, either way, that is going to be... Those are our troops, you know? We don't want our, our vassal to be weak. So I'd rather just stick them on the island and make them stay there. Um, let's go ahead and engage this army as well. I mean, he still has a small army out there. He's got all the cannon in, in the uh, total strength of the alliance. So we should still probably keep the majority of the army together. I mean, we've got enough, I think, to actually piece him out. But I need to get Scotland to agree first. Three to 14 reasons. I bet once their enthusiasm drops down to low, which is just going to happen due to uh, war exhaustion, like the war. So yeah, we just got to take some more money from them. I don't think, you know what probably should I do is uh, just avoid sieging anything else because it costs us um, costs us troops that we don't really have. And uh, instead just stand in territory that we've already occupied and loot it. That way we can make money without actually losing any extra troops, just pure profit. I'm tempted to take that idea, but... Eh. But nah. Meanwhile, we almost get to call Dave Ramsey. We are almost debt-free. Bartering increases. Hold on. Mag Mecklenburg will do something, something, something. Don't care. Alright, um, with the poor state of the English currency, while the poor state is becoming ever more troubling for us, the common people have started to look to other solutions. Many are growing wary of the use of money and avoid it whenever possible, reverting to old means of trade like the barter system. Perhaps their concerns are misplaced, but if we do not act swiftly, we may lose our grip on the economy and the country itself. So for 100 administrative points, I can lose inflation, or I can just gain autonomy in Kent, Vizcaya, Gascony, and Gloucestershire. 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 So 15% autonomy, what does that really represent? Like in a province like this, it's not a big deal. Um, Kent is, I think, worth quite a bit more. Kent is 14 base tax, or 14 development. But we naturally reduce autonomy very quickly. Like how long would it take to get rid of 15% local autonomy? 15 divided by 0.11. 136 months, so in 11.36 years, it would just be gone. Um, even faster when we're at peace. In fact, best case scenario, we're talking five years at peace. I'm just going to take the, uh, the autonomy, actually. And actually, come to think of it, some of these provinces we have um, such negative unrest in that I could probably afford to decrease autonomy now. Not all of them, because like Vizcaya was... Um, it was what do you call it? Uh, recent conquest. So, but yeah, negative ten, negative nine. We could could handle that. Again, I, I'm just not gonna. I don't care. It's not gonna affect our income really. A couple provinces, big deal. Yeah, good job, Tuscany. You don't have enough men to take the fort, so. You're probably just going to walk away, and I'm going to get control of it. But thank you. Somehow, France has medium enthusiasm again. So, I think eventually here, Scotland's going to have to disband their army. Which is going to be a shame. The Scottish never do like to put down their arms. I don't know why I said that. I have nothing... I don't know how the Scottish actually work. It just sounded fun. Sounded good at the time. Mamluks declared war on the Ottomans. Really? Really? The Mamluks have declared war on the Ottomans. Wow, the Mamluks are doing pretty well. 
Holy crap. Okay. Let's see how they do. Looks like we got two more months we can hang out in this province, so we'll just back off a province. Go to Orleane again. Hey, Scotland. Come on. You know you want to be my buddy. Just be my vassal, man. Don't make me bring an army up there and kill it. Kill your army. That would just be mean. I actually lost control of Barry because we... I forgot about that thing. But hey, he gave me Gascony back, so that's nice of him. Meanwhile, we've got 24 ducats to have here. I wonder how hordes work. I wonder if maybe they just get a bonus to their looting ability now? That's a lot of cannons there. It's actually more cannons than it is anything else. Well, Nemours is a perfectly good place for us to fight, so let's see if we can catch him there. Yep, he's locked into it. We'll be there on the 19th. He'll beat us there, but... It's not really a big deal. We have a nice wide army. Plenty of flanking. No infantry combat ability or anything yet. It's just a better army. This should reduce relative strength of the alliance, which should hopefully make the Scottish less enthusiastic. Yes, which should make them hopefully... Damn it! Just say yes! I'm trying to be a nice guy. I'm trying to leave your army intact. And here you are being like... Argh. But I'm... Gonna be a vassal. Ah. <laughs> yes, you will. And you will like it. We have 97% war score, and it's only 66 that I'm asking for. Now it's red, but it's positive. I bet if I go back in, it'll show us green now. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see if it does cost points. I'm pretty sure it will. 123? Ouch. Well, it's a price you have to pay. Restore the currency. Uh, have less than 5% inflation. We'll get... Um, National Trade Income Modifier plus 30% for 10 years. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Yes. I am willing to do that. Although I would have preferred to just wait till we could get the thing that does it automatically, but we got to bring it under control anyway, so... Let's buy it down a few times. Well, oh my gosh, hold on. I need these points to core Paris. We need 294 points, so that means I better not spend any. In fact, I really probably shouldn't have spent 75 that I did. But I got blinded by that National Trade Income Modifier thing. Hey, let's go see what kind of negotiating things we can do with Scotland. Hey, Scotland. What's up, man? Placate local rulers. No. Uh, embargo my rivals. Nah. Enable Scootage. Well, first off, can I call you to a war against someone that you were current you were at a war? I can't call you into a war, can I? Hmm. I really don't need your help. How much do you pay me right now? 0.27 ducats. Leinster, why do you pay me nothing? Excuse me, Leinster. Leinster, I asked you a question. Leinster. Hey. Why are you paying me no ducats? Fine. I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take him from me then. How you like that? Hmm? Hmm? Well, if I did try to peace out France, would you give me your capital? Oh gosh, totally. Only twenty three war score for it. I'd even take Toulouse. Which we also have a claim on. 
That would be 17 and 31. It's not even not even close to 100% overextension. The problem is that I don't have I just don't have the the points to corp to loose right now. 161. I mean, I could take it and then just core it later. The over overextension wouldn't really hurt that much. Alternatively, um, hold on, I need to do the, uh, I need to do Humiliate. Okay, looks like we do need some more War Score then. I want Paris and Humiliate. That's what I want. Byzantine Refugees. Tech cost minus 10% for 30 years. At the cost of Diplo and administrative power. Yes. Always. You tech up one time and it pays for itself. For the most part. In 30 years, you'll probably tech up on average three times. So, that's just a very, very, very good deal. Oh no, current heir will die. That is unacceptable. No! Why would you do this to me, game? We've had her for so long. She's been here for 40 years. Uh, we'll lose prestige, though. And our heir is... A 3 4 yeah, it's, it's pretty good. William. And he's got a strong claim. That's arguably a better heir. The strong claim makes it a lot easier. <clears throat> Alright, well, I think we've got to go siege this thing here. We had already looted this one. France, give me the things that I want now. Well, the idea that it's offering me is diplo diplomacy point related, so I can take this. I don't have to wait. Go ahead and get it. Which means we just picked up more money, more money, and almost more relations, which we don't really need, actually. So, um, any more of these nodes in here we can force trade power around on? Like, we're not getting transferred trade power upstream, are we? I don't think we do. I think it's only Provincial that does that. But still, forcing money to move through the network is probably a good thing. It's taking away money from other people. Repay all loans. We're debt free! Yay! <laughs> Call Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey's a fun guy. He likes to talk about being debt free. Alright, so if we win this war, uh, which we will, and we get the things that I want, then we're going to have tons of Monarch Points, and tons of money, and now that we're debt-free, we get to spit out a building almost every four months. In fact, very soon we're going to have building cost reduction, so we're going to be able to do it even faster. And eventually, we should probably wait until we can get development cost. No, buildings and development are totally different, that's right. We can start doing buildings right away. But, yeah, it's going to be just a good deal. Ooh, we can assault. These are mostly mercenaries at this point, so let's just do it. I'm sure that this will go well. I'm positive. Totally positive. Don't worry about it. Something happened with small people that don't matter. Engage them in the grasslands? I think we should. My army is quite low on morale, though. We might actually need to retreat from this. Yeah. We're gonna retreat up here. We lost a little bit of war score, but we'll hire a couple more mercenaries. I, you know, I, I assaulted that fort. Which we did need. And it's gonna be very difficult for them to get it back. We got the breached walls, which really enabled a lot there.
Forgot about these guys. Oh, they came from Scotland. Right. Scotland. I'm going to integrate you. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to click a button. Probably feed you Norway. Do you have any claims on Norway? Yes, you do. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Norway's allied with Denmark, but not under a union. Want to fight Muscovy, Livonia, Order, and... Yeah, I think so. I think we want to make, make Scotland strong. France, come on. There we go. There's a good boy. Alright, so you'll give me your capital. Ha ha ha. And, for good measure, you are going to let me smack you in the face in front of all of your subjects. That's that's how I try... That's how I'm going to envision the power projection. I just get to smack the ruler in the face. and It's wonderful. And then other than that, I would love war reparations. Can we do that as well? Indeed we can, but you won't agree to it. Well, allow me to smack you in the face a bit more then. Because I need your money. Despite the fact that you've been pummeled to a small size, you, uh, you will likely have quite a bit of income. Considering you won't take that, and I will take this, we'll just sit here for a month. Get some loot, siege it. Let your war exhaustion go up, let your enthusiasm go down. Let the siege happen. More war score. 58. Come on, man. Just let the pain stop. You know you want to. It doesn't have to be like this. Actually, it does. Oh, you know what? Poito is still going to give that back, isn't it? Rats. Oh, well. Another month of sieges will likely be enough. He's not willing to do it now. Yeah, every month it ticks by. It's getting a lot closer. Uh, let's see. Just gonna send a couple regiments that way. And then 10 and 10. And if he wants to engage, we'll take the fight defensively. But otherwise, we'll end up with two more provinces, which give us two more war score. Yep. Well, that was interesting. Being the defender, I think we'll be alright. We'll take these three provinces, and actually he's at 58%, so... Come on! Just say yes. Come on, France, you know you want to. If it's so powerful. So powerful with all this money and mercenaries. It's wonderful. We have no, uh... We have no manpower at all. We got men, we got money. Negative five reasons. Alright, so we take these ones. Take that one. Yeah, let me get down to Toulouse as well. Let's siege that one. Actually, you should come down to here. Oh crap, I forgot that I actually got to stay on the provinces to keep control of them. I knew that. I, s I swear I've got this thing figured out. Not really, but close. Soon. Alright, come on. Finish the siege, finish the siege. And we'll have it. Done? There we go. The arrow didn't update, but I'm pretty sure he's going to say yes. There we go. Okay, so you give me your income, you give me your capital, and you give me power projection. Sounds great. Ha ha ha, it's so great. Change the trade port. 
And we have Paris. What a beautiful thing. And France has rivaled Aragon back. That's so cool that you can just take someone's capital where they've put 31 development worth of monarch points in. Yeah, this is mine now. I made this. <laughs> we'll park our whole army here just to keep it from causing problems. And this province provides 43 manpower. <laughs> Base 2,250. And yet, because we have manpower efficiency of 2%, it's not very high. Uh, that's funny. We need to probably core it, first off, and also probably try to find a way to make Francian into an accepted culture. How close are we on that, anyway? Francian is 4.3%. Well, eventually, we're probably going to want to go humanist. For now, though, we allow war exhaustion to come down while we save up monarch points to core. And we continue to just make oodles of ducats. Buckets of ducats. Oodles. Oodles of noodles. Also, do we fire the mercenaries? They cost a lot. Is anyone going to attack us? Burgundy has a truce until... 93. Castile has a truce. No, they don't. Aragon's friendly with us. Aragon is our ally. Which means that Castile is our ally, which means that we have no natural enemies that are unable, that are able to attack us right now. So, we will uh, grab the mercenaries, all of them, and just disband. We will lower maintenance to there. And we're suddenly making 31 ducats a month with no debt. Our mission is to, lo is to lower inflation. I want to do it, but I want to get that province cord first. I mean, it is causing, on its own, 31% overextension. Which... is bad. I mean, it is. But then again, it's not that bad. I mean, we could just wait. Get the mission done, get the income up, and then do it. To get down below 5%, I would need to do... So, it looks like three clicks. Six percent would take me down below five. Two clicks would only take me to 5.77. I'd have to spend 225 administrative points, which is basically going to make it take a long time to actually be able to core this thing. But, also, we can change our focus again, and we've already finished the trade ideas. I think administrative ideas would be a good focus right now. Although catching up on diplomatic tech would be nice. I think, yeah, I think I think doing administrative focus would be awesome. Might as well make you like us. And I guess we'll make you like us too. Why not? I put a milk you for some money again. Give me your ducats. It'd be cool to do that. Like, imagine being Poland and milking Lithuania for ducats. Granted, Lithuania might actually attack you, but <laughs> still, I feel like you get quite a bit of money from that. Alright, so the cost to core, I mean, I, f I feel like we should wait for war exhaustion to come down anyway, so. Yeah. All right, sure. Let's let's lower autonomy first. Let's just do it. Incorporate Scotland. Our manpower. <laughs> this game is very insistent about manpower. Let's do that one for now. So we have not gained any naval force limit. Awesome! Good things happen to people who buy down their stuff. That's what I'm gonna blame it on. Yeah! Sweet! Um, they rise up somewhere. Thirty ducats a month in income now. 
I mean, I'd like to actually not have to use troops for this, but... Suddenly we have 184 administrative points again. I can't complain. Also, we have 80 power projection, which is awesome. I love that you can humiliate people while still taking provinces from them. That's so cool. Wow, that was quick. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I, for <laughs> I forgot. It's a uh, non-protected province. Of course it's quick. Hmm. Well, things have turned around quite well for us. I'm very excited to see how well we can do. Um, it's not going to take long. We can start spending this money, actually. So, like, let's just do a quick thing before I, before I forget. Um, like, local trade power, probably don't want that in every province. But, like... Another shipyard might be nice, just so we can build ships faster. Temples, I think, are probably always going to be a good, uh, good investment. Maybe not. Maybe we should hold off on building buildings until we get that modifier. Yeah, let's just stockpile money for a bit. For a couple years. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.